I was walking down the driveway just to have a look at my mowing that I did yesterday and I thought I'll nip back up to the house and get the camera and film it because it's a glorious morning absolutely beautiful quite a lot of rain clouds up there but hey ho we can always do with a bit more rain so yesterday <coughs> excuse me oh right as you can hear I still have the remains of the cold it's still kind of passing through but anyway it'll soon be gone so yesterday or should I say last evening oh, it was about seven o'clock or so um, because I've been resting up for a good part of the day after I made the video and I thought you know I think I'll just get that little mower out my little hand mower no gas guzzling machinery around here anymore it's all gone I'll get the little mower out and I shall mow the driveway and down along the roadside so that's what I did so you can see, look how neat it's looking. Now I didn't do the, the sides, the edges, because there's quite a lot of flowers in there. I just did, did the middle bit, which is the practical, the practical um, area that I had to mow. So it's beautifully cool down here, just in certain spots, you know, where the trees are just overhanging, reaching out, joining each other. Mm. And of course, lots of little sort of bouquets of flowers all the way down, sometimes in quite unusual little spots. So you can see the valerian peeping out there at the top of the driveway on the right. So how am I finding the new mower? Well, it's fantastic, that's all I can say. Oh, there's that little bird. The, the little one I called the Nosy Parker. <laughs> was following me down the drive yesterday. And there it is again. It's speckly. It's a wee speckly bird. It looks a bit like a robin. Could that be a baby robin? Hmm? Is that possible? Let me just get a close-up and then maybe you can tell me. Now, where am I getting the close-up to? Oh, yeah, here we go. It's quite speckly, isn't it? I have a feeling that's a baby robin. It's a beautiful little nosy parker, anyway. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there's wee bits of red coming on its breast. Yes, that must be a baby robin. I've never seen one of those before. How delightful. How delightful. Always the unexpected. I think that's why I like to do just one long live shoot, you know, and not bother with editing and all that nonsense. It's a little bit too contrived anyway. There's far too much contrived nonsense on YouTube. So, the new lawnmower. That's <laughs> a lawnmower. <laughs> it's a, a blade cylinder on wheels that you push along. It's fantastic. And as you can see, it's done a f fun, really wonderful job of the driveway. And it's beautiful to use. Because you can stop when you like. There's no petrol fumes. There's no starting it up and letting it stop and starting it up again and all the noise and the the stones flying up and hitting you in the face and oh it's it's quite quite a violent machine really. I think these petrol lawnmowers and whatever they're, they're they are quite violent machines. 
But the little hand mower is brilliant. And as you can see, look, I keep saying this, it's done a lovely job. But where do you see out in the roadside? Look at the beautiful fuchsia. You see, I'm very particular about the roadside verge. And the reason being that people pass along. People pass along here and they see all the trees planted. They see that the agricultural land has been, has been covered with trees. And um, a lot of people who are farmers and whatever would, would find that well, would be critical of that. Um, because as I said yesterday in my video, it could be some time before everybody wakes up to what's happening and the need for us to plant trees. And I understand that. So I'm not going to go having a, you know, being, being critical of others because we're all on our own journey. But by keeping the roadside verge neat and tidy as well as quite densely planted it takes away that initial criticism oh well that's just some weird woman in there planting trees you know and sort of dismissive almost as though well She's, she's doing nothing. She's just sat in there and everything's just growing wild. <coughs> well, those of you who are familiar with the channel will know, of course, that I embrace the wild. But always on the edges, it looks... It looks enticing. If everything was just overgrown here, There'd be no enticement and there'd be no um, view that, oh, that's something that I'd like to have. That looks like a nice garden. And it's all about encouraging other people to plant. That's all. That's all that I would want to gain out of it. So you can see down here by the gate, look, when you look in, it looks enticing, it looks quite enchanting, it looks like something I'd want to have. So, just come right out here by the gate and look in. There we go, rather nice job that little hand mower did. Now where do you see the beautiful edge of the road here? Look how neat this is. <coughs> the ironic thing as well is that it's actually much quicker to use the little hand mower than to use a gas guzzling machine. It's much quicker and it does a neater job. Don't you agree? This is my roadside verge, you see. I want it to look like one big long garden. And it's only when you look closely you see all the trees that I've planted in there and the shrubs and there's a sort of a, a form begins to emerge and then up here around this around this um, what are these called? <laughs> um, Electricity poles. Lots of Michaelmas daisies. They'll flower in September, but just around them, beautiful yellow loosestrife. 
which is beginning to flower now. And then I keep on just a little edging and up here great big ferns in the background of course you can hear all the birds from Beatona Cottage little cornflowers wild grasses as well and this beautiful Cordata Fulvida the little birds love those seed heads ladies mantle there peeping out more ladies mantle a big bank of yellow loose strife with fuchsia and buddleia Lots more ferns and a little Sitka spruce. One here and there is fine. And box and sedge and more ferns. Then these are birch trees that I've planted and willow. And all the way up here. There's some wild honeysuckle. So there we go. I think you can understand now why I come down and mow the roadside verge. So blessings to you all and have a beautiful day. Have a lovely weekend. That's the day that's in it. <laughs>